connecting a sea and an ocean, Canal du Midi. The town of Béziers in southern France is near the Mediterranean coast. It was the hometown of Pierre Paul Riquet, an engineer who came up with a grand building plan. In those days, goods transported from the Mediterranean shores by ship had to sail up the coast of Spain to reach the Atlantic side of France. Riquet realised that if the Mediterranean Sea and the Garonne River were connected, commodities could be transported and distributed much more easily in France. Approved by King Louis XIV, work on the national project began in 1666. Riquet first built a huge dam on hilly ground so that water could flow through the entire canal system. Embankments were made from granite blocks. The embankment measured 871 metres in length and it was the longest in Europe at that time. Then the canal was gradually extended towards both the Mediterranean and the Atlantic coastlines. To build a 240 kilometre long canal was not an easy task. Some of the most advanced civil engineering techniques were employed. When the canal came to a river, an aqueduct had to be built over it. When there was a hill, a tunnel had to be dug. You can still see the traces of the hand-dug tunnels. and a system of locks had to be built to allow boats to negotiate changes in gradient. The water level inside the locks is adjusted by opening and closing water gates. The boats have to be patient while the lock fills with or empties water to raise or lower the boat. Fonserran lock is what is known as a staircase lock. It has seven chambers. The difference from one level to the next is 21 metres. This lock is considered to be one of Riquet's engineering masterworks. The advent of railways in the 19th century saw the end of an era for the Canal du Midi as the main form of goods transportation. Today, holidaymakers make the most of it for leisure cruises.